Hello ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, back with another NBA 2K14 all sim my GM mode as the Toronto Raptors going into the NBA draft with the 1st and 12th pick, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> a lot of people told me to take first overall, I think I know who I might take. Um, I'm going to let you wait and see for that. We're hopping into the draft here, the 2014 draft. Um, <laughs> so we got Mr. Oh, fuck, I forgot his name, it's not Stern anymore, so I don't know. Look at this, right there, number one. Let him do his little chatting. A lot of you guys, everybody in the chat comments said, take Wiggins, take Wiggins, take Wiggins. Now, oh, I don't know if I will. No, I'm kidding. I think I might. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no yet. But I want to try and skip over this. I don't know if I can. I, I don't know, whatever. But um, we do need a small four because I traded away Ross. And we can put DeRozan on shooting guard and Lowry on point guard. So then we'll have Wiggins at small forwards. So let's see who's available, all right? Let's see who's available, first of all. So Jabari Parker, who I took with my, um, oh, a little birth there, excuse me. Who I took in my, um, whatchamacallit, my Boston series. We got Wiggins. Uh -huh. We got Exum. Embiid, who wouldn't be a bad pick either. I guess we do have Valanchina's. But <laughs> y'all said this, so I'm going to do it. From Kansas University. I'll let, her, I'll let her come up here first of all. All right, let, let, let's hear it. Come on. With the first overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Andrew Wiggins from Kansas, small forward, 6'8, 200 pounds, 19 years young, from Toronto, Ontario. Oh, baby. we bringing the kid back to Toronto, bringing him home. We're going to put him to work. Exum's taken second. Uh, let's see who's taken third. Parker was taken third by <laughs> the Celtics, just like what we took him in our series. That's funny. Fourth was Embiid, and then fifth was Stein. All right, so I'll simulate to the 12th pick, and I'll see you guys right there. All right, guys, back. We're on the clock here with the 12th overall pick. Um, let's see who's available, and then we'll decide from there who to take. So um, any point guards by any chance available? No. Let's just, just go over point guards right here. No, right there. There we go. Um, oh, what's his name? Is he still available? Must have already been drafted. Or is he shooting guard? Oh, it's power forwards. What am I doing? I'm all over the freaking place. Um, no. Stas Kiss. Shooting guard, point guard. Another Canadian kid. I think I'm going to take him, to be honest with you guys. Um, just because he's Canadian. And we do need a... I could use the pony guard, shoot, shooting guard. So, I'm going to take him. And here we go. The Toronto Raptors select with their 12th pick in the first round from Canada. Nick Stauskas from the University of Michigan. Shooting guard, point guard, 6'6", six six, 160 pounds. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And I'll see you guys at yes, the end of the draft. I don't think we have any more picks. I'll see you guys after the draft. All right, guys. Draft's over. Let's take a look at the summary real quick. Uh, we took Wiggins with the first overall. Looks like that was a solid choice. Parker, 77. Embiid was a 77. Exum was a 74. Smart fell down a bit, looks like, and so did Randall. Uh, Stoskis was the 66 overall. I think he was the best point guard available, to be honest, though. So nothing wrong with that. Or shooting guard, point guard, whatever. Same shit. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, a lot of power forwards were taken. From 21 to 30 was all power forwards. Wow. And then all shooting guards there. Okay, this may be broken. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for the draft, guys. Gonna exit it, um, go to rookie signings, sign them both up, advance, um, got a little, made the coach happy, drafting Wiggins, which is awesome, so let's take a look in free agency now, uh, time for that. So we got, I don't know if we have much money to spend in free agency, um, any centers available, that's what I'm curious of, Bynum, mm, I don't know, any power forwards, we have Robinson, if I remember right. Um, small forward, we're good. Now, ooh, Vince Carter's available. I'm going to take Vince Carter because it's Vince Carter. <laughs> um, he wants one year, 2.5. Yeah, I can do that, Vince. I can do 2.9, or I can go over, I don't know. Let's go 2.2 for one year, sixth man. Let's say bench warmer because that's probably what he's going to end up being. And what did he say? 2.43. He's working with me. Okay. Oh, 2.3. And 
What do you say? You want two three nine? Oh my god, just take two three five. I'll give you two three nine. Shut up. Um, there we go. Perfect. Well, not perfect yet, but he still has to agree, which he will. I know he will. I mean, know he's gonna accept it. There we go. Now let's take a look at our uh, roster real quick here. Front office. So center we got Pachula, Villanchenas, power forward Robinson, Hansborough, point guard um, Larry and Vasquez, small forward Novak, Fields and Wiggins, and then shooting guard Stoskis, Carter and DeRozan. And my phone's ringing, but I'm not gonna get that because I love you guys too much. <laughs> so let's get another power forward center just to be safe, um, and I think we should be good to go for the season at least. So power forward, anybody play center as well? Okay, these guys do. Maybe some age, some depth. Um, not Kenyon Martin, I know that. No way in hell I'm taking him. Um, Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, I don't know. Dallin Bart. He's Canadian too, so that's perfect. <laughs> I'm just taking Canadians right now is what it seems like. Um, oh, I don't have the cap to take him. Oh, I'll offer him that and see what he says. Yeah, no, nothing I can do there. Um, so we got very small cap left. Very, very small. Who can we sign for dirt cheap? This is what I'm like. Ooh, it's Birdman. Birdman we can sign for cheap, right? Yeah, we can. I think. Hopefully. Oh, he, he said okay, so we'll see. If he gets an offer, nothing else, and he'll take it. What's wrong with Birdman? You can play fire forward. There we go, Birdman. Um, so that's it for free agency, I guess. I'll simulate through the rest of this super duper quick. I'm um, going to training camp. Actually, you know what? I don't even do training camp, so advance the next season right there. And then I'll show you guys like where LeBron ended up and where um, where Carmelo and Kobe all ended up. We'll take a look at other teams' rosters super quick. And then we'll get ours ready, and we'll call that... Um, nope, nothing I can do there. Sorry, bad. Can't send anybody anywhere. Oh, we got owner's expectations to go over. <clears throat> Clearing my throat here. <sighs> okay, ready? Hi, Duke. Let's review this new goals and expectations I have set for this year. I don't just want wins and wins alone. It's important to me that team's morale of that the blah, 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 blah. it's important to me that the morale of this team is high. So keep that in mind when making moves. We'll accomplish. We're on the exact same page. I won't let you down. I know we can do it. I'm glad you agree. Next up I'd like to discuss what's on my wish list for the team. Attendance, let's talk about it. I want it higher. I'm thinking top ten at least. Get it up there as soon as you can. Um I might accomplish. Can't promise it'll happen this season, but we should be close. Fine then, you know where I stand. Okay, don't get mad at me. Oh, I'm so gassy today. So the, so there's the deal. I want no... I expect this... Oh wait, what? So here's the deal. I want... No, I expect this team to lose less than 35 games a season. So it's on you to make that happen. Oh dear God. Um, I'm going to say, it's a good possibility with this team, but you never know. I have faith in this team more than you, apparently. Oh, ouch. <laughs> uh, ready to start another season? Ready to get started. Let's go. Looking forward to this great season. Me too. Uh, ooh, download draft class. We'll go... Um, we did the Ripken ones before, so we'll do 2015 Ripken too. We'll download that baby in. Shout out to him for doing awesome draft classes. Uh, now let's look at the roster. Actually, we'll set up our, our uh, rotation quick. Um, get all that shit in, so shooting guard will be DeRozan, and then Wiggins, Nick Wiggins the starter, starter, started from the bottom, now we're here, um, take a ton of minutes off Vasquez, because he don't need that, he don't need that, boom, biddy boom, sauce him up to 30, uh, that's good, that's good, Robinson don't need that many, Vasquez don't need that many, feel, or uh, Carter can have some more, because I love him. Um, Stoskis is good, good. Anderson. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Maybe Stoss one more to Birdman. And I think that's that's actually a pretty interesting lineup. I mean, when you think about it, it's a pretty interesting lineup of what we've done. Still have Lowry, still have DeRozan. We drafted Wiggins. Traded for Thompson, or sorry, Robinson. Valentin is starting center. Vasquez on the bench. Hands were on the bench. Car Vince Carter back in Toronto on the bench. Landry Fields on the bench. Nick Stoskis on the bench. Birdman and then Pachulia and Steve Novak on reserve. Maybe I'll have to sign another reserve sometime. I'm not sure yet. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to sign another reserve. Um, yeah, I'll do that next episode. But I'm, that's a pretty depth bench when you think about it. Like, everybody's top four guys are all over 75. So that's awesome. Like, I mean, that's a starting lineup. So there's, like, small forward, shooting guard, power forward, point guard, and then instrument center. That's almost, like, like, that's a solid bench. I'm happy with that. So let's look at um, other teams' rosters super duper quick. So Rockets got Howard and, Har and Harden still, uh, Nobly Duncan, Leonard, and Parker still there. Nothing happened with Phoenix. Um, Thunder's the same. Don't look like anything's going on in Timberland. Nothing going on there. Nothing going on there. Nothing going on there. The hell did LeBron go? That's what I'm gonna know. Um, nothing going on in Bobcat Land. Nothing there. Nothing going to Chicago. Nothing going on in Cleveland. So LeBron didn't go back to Cleveland, it looks like. Um, nothing going on in Celtics. Nothing for Clippers. Nothing. Nothing. Wade went back to Miami, it looks like, because he was a free agent too, so he just re signed with them at a free agency. <laughs> Carmelo went to Utah. That's pretty interesting, I guess. Um, and where is LeBron? LeBron and Kobe are both in LA. Oh my god. That is actually insane. That team is going to be crazy OP. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, that'll be interesting. We got Casal, Randall, they drafted two. Oh boy, that's going to be a tough team. I'm telling you that now. That'll be a tough team. I mean, who's our point guard? Do they even have a point guard? Oh, I guess Kobe can go point guard, and then Brooks will be shooting guard. That looks like a tough team. Um, anything else going on anywhere? No, no, no. Don't look like it. Yeah, it looks basically, yeah. So that's, I guess that's it for this episode, guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed her. Um, I know this might not, this is... Yeah, I guess it's actually an okay length episode. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, leave any tips you got for me for the coming season. And have an awesome day, guys. Peace out.